I'm here at Momoya in Bloomfield. I'm here with Fran Bartkowski, author, head of the English department at Rutgers, and a blogger. Check this out. Watch what we eat. Hi, Fran. How are you doing today? Good, Harvey. How are you? I'm fine, yeah. Did you just enjoy some of the victuals here? Oh, my God. They were fabulous. Oh, yeah? yeah? What was your favorite, the snow lotus or the sushi pizza? The snow lotus. Gotta say. Definitely. Snow lotus. Yeah, okay. So, um, in your book, In Feminist Theory, Yes. Okay. Um, can you give us a little short version of this synopsis? Well, it's it's my book only in so far as I co-edited it. It's really a collection of essays of feminist thought from the 1700s to the early 21st century. Oh, and, and look what we got! Yeah. Oh my God! The, the shrimp has a, have arrived. Ooh. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> what yes. do you think of that? I don't quite imagine I'm going to be eating those little eyes, but... Oh, the eyes are fried. Don't worry about that. Oh, That's, that's the um, tail of the amaebi, which is the sweet shrimp. <laughs> Different, okay. huh? And now the fun part. Mm. The head. The cat. No. Uh, come on. No, I'll do one. No, you have to do this. This is just before the uh, Lunar New Year for Asians. And they serve ama ebi, which is the sweet shrimp, and they eat the whole shrimp. So we have a little sashimi tail. And then we have the deep fried head of the shrimp. And uh, I'm going to eat that. Oh! Oh. Mm. oh my god. And I eat all of this? <laughs> the shell? <laughs> eat the shell? Seriously? Do I have to? It's fried! Go ahead. What do you think? First time for everything. It's pretty yummy, but I haven't eaten the eyes yet. It's been said that uh, because Americans are involved with their iPhones and iPads, that their attention spans make it almost impossible for them to read books. Do you find this true with some of the students? I sure do. Um, and I've heard tell that the average attention span is seven minutes. Seven days. minutes? Even I spend much more time watching television these days than reading books. And that's because there's some great television. I've recently said and thought that what we call binge watching is what we used to refer to as a book that's a page turner. You don't want to put it down. So you saw what we ate, you saw what we talked about. Watch what we go next week. You're going to be surprised.